everybody, it's Emily. So a question that I get all the time is what should you do before you leave for basic training? So I put together a list of just five different basic things that you need to make sure that you have in order before you leave for basic training. The first thing that I recommend is to make sure that you tell your family and friends. I've talked about this in other videos, but having support from at least one person at home will really make a difference. Basic training is totally mental. It's way more mental than it is physical. And just having someone that's supporting you, sending you letters from home will really help. I remember just the joy and the happiness I felt at night during mail call when I heard my name and had to go up to the front and get my letter. And you have to do push-ups to get your letters from home, but it's totally worth it. I would do a million push-ups if it meant that I got a letter or a package from somebody at home. Uh, things that my family sent me were uh, pictures from home. I had family members uh, color me pictures, like just little kids. And then one of my aunts sent me this really cool like map of the stars because when we were out doing uh, some of our outdoor trainings, it was just so cool to get this map of the stars and to be able to think about something besides basic training uh, at night, you know, when I'm just kind of looking up. The next thing that I recommend is to have your finances in order. And there's this thing called the Service Members Civil Relief Act or SCRA, and that will help you when you leave for basic training. So all you need is a copy of your orders and you can provide that to uh, any credit card accounts or any debts that you might have so that you don't accrue interest. It doesn't mean that you just don't have to pay them anymore, but you need to um, at least provide that copy of your order so that they know that you're gone. So if anything is to happen, they know that you are doing military service uh, and so you don't have to pay interest while you're in training, which is really cool. So what I did was I gave my mom a copy of a debit card connected to my checking account. So things like my cell phone bill um, and other like just debts that I had, my mom was able to help pay them for me uh, while I was at basic training because you don't have access to a computer or anything to pay those bills for your for yourself. You can uh, set your cell phone to the lowest possible plan because you're not going to be using it very often. I don't recommend turning it off because you can take your phone with you and when you have time for phone calls in basic training, it's really helpful to use your phone instead of having to have a phone card and using a pay phone, that's just annoying. So just lower down your plan to the lowest possible plan and then uh, make sure you pay off any just outstanding debts that you might have like library fees or uh, just unpaid parking tickets, things like that because it will come back to get you later on. It, it, it will just be a burden later on so you just wanna get it all done before you leave. The next thing is to pack up your stuff. So if you're going active duty, you're not coming back to wherever you're living right now. So uh, you can either put your stuff in a storage unit or something like a pod where they deliver it to you. Uh, another thing is you're probably not going to use all your furniture, especially if you're single leaving for active duty. You're probably going into kind of like a dormitory setting. So you can sell your furniture, sell anything that you're not going to use, make a little bit of money off of it. And then... Um, when you do report to your active duty station, you can have whatever else shipped to you or brought to you by a family member. If you get time to come back home, you can bring it all back with you. If you're going for the reserves, um, you can use this thing called BAH, which is Basic Allowance for Housing. And you can talk to your recruiter about it, but you'll just need to provide a copy of a lease and they will help you pay your rent based on your market. Uh, so if you live in a certain city, it'll be based the rent will be right based off of that city's like average rent um so that will just help you with your rent otherwise you can put all your stuff in a family member's basement or whatever in storage so that when you return from ait and you return home you'll have access to everything the next thing is to pack a bag uh, i wrote a blog post all about what you should pack to bring to basic training so I'll tag it somewhere around here, uh, check it out and you can see exactly what I recommend you bring for basic training. And then the last thing is to study. There's a website called armystudyguide.com and I totally recommend that website. I used it before I left. And it will just help you learn things like rank structure. You don't want to be talking to a colonel or a sergeant major or whatever and not know what the little logo in the middle of their body stands for. So you want to uh, study that so you know what you're what you're doing. And then other things I recommend are cadences, uh, basic 
just functions of the weapons. Uh, you can learn about some of the li combat life-saving things. And you can see all of that on armystudyguide.com. So that's about it. Uh, another totally obvious one that I didn't include in my five things was just make sure you're working out. Whether you leave in five weeks, five days, or five months, just make sure that you're running outside um, with no headphones because you're not going to have that when you're at basic training. And then uh, doing as many push-ups and sit-ups as you can. You may only be able to do 10 or 15 push-ups right now, but I promise you, your body will adapt. It's so crazy how you get to basic training and your body just changes and you're getting smoked on the ground by a drill sergeant and somehow you're able to just muster through it and do a ton of push-ups. So it's really cool. Um, if you're leaving for basic training pretty soon, good luck. Uh, I know you'll do great. If you have any other questions, reach out to me on Twitter. That's the quickest way to reach out to me. My username is at EB228, same as my YouTube username. Um, otherwise, you can check out my blog and see if I answered any other questions for you on there. Otherwise, you can reach out to me on my blog as well. But that's it. I hope everybody has a good day. Bye.